it is an important topic and has to be uh, very clearly understood standard deviation what is the conceptual meaning of standard deviation we will not get into the formula because that is not asked the concept uh, is important over here okay standard deviation as the name suggests deviation is difference deviation is difference so here we talk about different sets and we try and calculate the deviation or the difference in the data value let's say consider these two sets Let, let's say this is the number line and um, you know uh, one set is one two three four five these five data values are there and they are each separated by how many points they are separated by one point there is a difference of one among these data values there is difference of one in a data value okay now uh, consider another set this is one let's say this is three this is five this is seven this is nine one three five seven nine now see uh, notice the difference most important is notice the difference among the data value one and two what is the difference out here difference is one two and three what is the difference here one three and four what is the difference here one four and five what is the difference here one so and now compare so this is let's say this is set one set one let's say this is set two what is the difference here 1 and 3 difference is 2 3 and 4 uh, 3 and 5 difference is 2 5 and 7 difference is 2 7 and 9 difference is 2 now if I say which out of these two sets has higher standard deviation which of these sets has higher standard deviation what would your answer be would it be set 1 or would it be set 2 which out of the these two sets would have higher standard deviation because deviation is difference here the data in set 2 they are more spread out right they are separated by greater difference so the standard de deviation of set 2 would be greater right so standard deviation is the measure of the average difference between the two points although the formula is slightly complicated the way we calculate the standard deviation but then roughly this is what it boils down to if you want to actually calculate the standard deviation how it is calculated let's say three data points are there x1 x2 x3 so first step is that you calculate x bar x bar is nothing but the average so x1 plus x2 plus x3 divided by 3 this is this would give you the average now subtract this average from all the data points so x1 minus x bar x2 minus x bar x3 minus x bar x bar is nothing but the mean which is x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3 second step third step just square this value whatever you got just square this value up fourth step just take the sum of these values summation of xi minus x bar take the sum of these value square and then take the average how many terms are there one two three terms are there take the average and then last take the under root and toward the end take the under root you will get the value of standard deviation right this is a little complicated process but then you you would not be asked to calculate the standard deviation you, you would be required to compare standard deviation you should have an idea that what is the measure of standard deviation it is nothing but the measure of deviation how close the values are spread out or how far the values are spread out farther the values would be spread out greater would be the standard deviation this is something that you need to understand right so this was uh, the uh, chapter of uh, uh, statistics